सर आई एम द सीईओ सर सत्यम कुमार सत्यम कुमार यस सर ओके सो इन योर सेक्शन हाउ मेनी आर देयर 21 सर 21 यस सर अच्छा यू डू हैव ए रेडी यू आर ए1 यस सर सो डू हैव ए रेडी रोल शीट विद यू राइट नाउ यस सर आई हैव so can you send me in my maybe yahoo mail you know my yahoo mail id yes i will send you the... no you know my yahoo mail id yes sir i have, so in uh, yahoo, I have... you send send the roll sheet in yahoo yes yes sir oh i want to Okay, I have received. Just a minute. No sir, no sir. I, I I'm sending you. I'm. Huh? Oh, oh you are you, you yet to send, na? so more, oh, oh, whether some more will come sir 19 people have joined i, I don't know whether uh, or 19 so now the workshop uh, uh, that is i i think uh, um, okay, I um, this I forging and molding workshop this includes the forging and molding is not it yes sir so i forging as well as molding ha huh? i have sent you the roll sheet sir excel sheet no i have not yet received okay let it come it will uh, take some time i think yes sir uh, from me it, it has been sent uh, i don't know uh because mail is opened so i don't know anyways uh, let us start so i may uh, how many 21 students yes sir so can you check the spam folder i think it it uh -huh. may it may be in the spam folder can you check once in the spam no folder? not in spam uh, i checked in the spam also uh well, let let me check once again no not not yet satyam confirm sir email id ah a1 a1 yeah uh, right now uh, i i i have received right now yeah a1 yeah just a minute no this is, is it excel file yes sir but don't you have this um, this is something different is it the roll sheet no it, it is not opening in my laptop okay How sir i will send open this in the pdf form and i will send you in pdf form to you ha yeah. you sent a roll this is not a this is this includes the name roll number and the email ids i think this is the group uh, email ids so roll sheet means uh, some 
department uh, name of the department etc all these are written so anyways today i am just so now uh, i think by this time you are undergoing your theoretical classes also who is taking care of your theoretical subject uh, manufacturing process sir uh, smn sir huh Yes. Okay. So, whether the class had already been started? No, sir. No, sir. The not class uh, Now, uh, this uh, forging and molding. So, in this workshop, uh, workshop three, most likely, uh, there are two actually uh, workshops: forging and molding. So in the first year, what are the workshops you had undergone in the first uh, year, right? Sir, so uh, carpentry fitting and uh, welding. Carpentry fitting and? Welding, welding. Welding, okay. So now forging molding uh, are two other workshops. Uh, then you will have so many other workshops in future also. So... Uh, actually, the theoretical discussions uh, will be going on during your manufacturing process class. Parallelly, you have that uh, theoretical paper, manufacturing process, right? Where uh, foundry is a major portion, which includes this uh, molding, foundry. Okay, it's nothing about molding. And uh, forging is also there, is included in your theoretical subject. So uh, theoretical details will be discussed in the theoretical, uh, uh, during the theoretical classes. We shall discuss here partially, right? The theoretical uh, portions, partially we shall discuss, uh, but not in detail because theoretical classes will be going on parallelly. Now, what we shall do here, as this is in a uh, virtual mode, so we don't have any uh, scope to produce accomplished things uh, in real life. Uh, but we shall discuss some sort of theories, uh, followed by some video observations, right? What we are actually doing in our workshops, in Jadapur University workshops. So these videos, had been recorded in the last year. Uh, last year means during this time, during this January uh, second to third week, we recorded some workshop videos in the last year only, to 2021. And uh, in this uh, workshop videos, actually, uh, all these um, uh, jobs, the techniques, how to complete the jobs had been recorded, but still that is not very sufficient because there are so many pros and cons in real situation. But you may get some excerpts. Not only that, uh, in spite of these recorded videos, there are so many other good videos available in uh, internet, if you go through YouTube or some other sites, you may observe some other videos on the subject that is forging and molding. May not be with the exact job what we are doing, but with some other jobs, you may get some uh, theoretical ideas also. But uh, main task is, like all other workshops, you must follow any book, because parallelly you have the theoretical paper also in your this semester. So you must read, you must uh, open some books, classical books, otherwise learning uh, is will not be complete. And do you know some names of books, any classical books? No, on sir. workshop technology? Sir, uh, first semester we had uh, read the Hajra Choudhury, sir. But Hajra Choudhury is okay, but uh, for mechanical engineers at least, 
you must go through some other books good books ajay choudhury is okay but it's it's not that good particularly for mechanical engineers okay so you must sir can you suggest uh, some hajar to hajar choudhury first volume is meant for all mm-hmm. these workshops mm-hmm. hajra choudhury workshop technology by hajra choudhury volume 1 there are uh, two volumes volume 1 is meant for uh, this forging molding uh, carpentry welding all these so you may go through that but for uh, concepts uh, to develop concepts particularly for mechanical engineers all of you must procure a book that is uh, workshop technology by now onurag uh, khurana who, who is onurag khurana where sir, is he onurag khurana yes sir hello yes sir ah uh, where from you are joining from where sir from jadavpur you are staying at jadavpur yes sir in hostel or where sir in flat ha huh? in flat ha huh? where sir flat flat i i i can't follow your word uh, where, where, where do you stay sir i am staying at flat flat yes sir so um, i mean uh, are you um, basically from this place or from uh, some other state sir i am from jnk from jnk or oh, jnk okay recently you were staying uh, near jadopur yes sir so try to join in time right our class yes, starts at 11 so i yes. again joined uh, at about 11 past 1 or 2 so try to come in time right sorry sir from day next because this is the first class that's why i am allowing you but okay, from day sir. next you try to join at least within 5 minutes okay sir sorry sir okay so mm, so what i was uh, telling uh, this is the problem if you um, start joining uh, simultaneously okay regarding books so for uh, mechanical engineers you must procure a book uh, so many other people are joining what is that who have joined raw say wasim bari where he where is he wasim bari where is wasim bari hello hello washim bari ha sir where from you are from the sunta chi namne kotha where from you are joining washim bari the sunta vachen আমি শুনতে পাচ্ছি না তুমি আমার কথা শুনতে পাচ্ছো না স্যার স্যার কিছু বলছেন হোয়ার ফ্রম ইউ আর কামিং স্যার বর্তমান সো হোয়াই ইউ আর জয়নিং লেট ক্লাস হ্যাড অলরেডি বিন স্টার্টেড অ্যাট 11 স্যার আমার একটু মানে ফোনটা একটু ডিসটার্ব হয়ে যায় স্যার মাঝে মাঝে নো দা ইউ ট্রাই টু কাম ইন টাইম ফ্রম দা ডে নেক্সট টুডে দিস ইজ দা ফার্স্ট ক্লাস দ্যাটস হোয়াই আই অ্যাম এলাউইং ইউ But from the next day, I shall not allow. After five minutes, nobody will be allowed. Okay, sir. So, all of you for mechanical engineers, uh, you must procure workshop technology by A. J. Chapman. A. J. Chapman. Okay. I am writing.
there are three volumes workshop technology by in the chat box in the chat box you follow the message uh, workshop technology by aj chapman all three volumes 1 2 3 it is not necessarily that um, like say hajra choudhury first volume includes the basic uh, workshops second volume includes the machining technology uh, machine tools but uh, in uh, aj chapman uh, there are three volumes 1 2 3 1 volume one may include very complex uh, things uh, whereas volume three may include the initial basic basic thing so it is in a mixed mode actually so all these three volumes you must have simultaneously and this will be required during your throughout your life for mechanical engineers this is almost a bible so aj chapman is very good book along with various other books uh, like say amstrad also al bejeman uh, kalpak ji and smith dieter george uh, p n rao so many um, SN Chakravarti for foundry um, and uh, most likely during theoretical classes a teacher will you uh, guide you will mention the names of the books but you must go through good books otherwise it is not it is very difficult so that is about book and the, uh, regarding the division of marks uh, the total mark includes uh, included in this workshop is 100 out of 100 uh, how the marks uh, are distributed right now here on an average 50 is for job plus i'm writing again so this is the uh, mass mark distribution so you must be very cautious about this 50 for job plus report okay job plus report means uh, right now we don't have any uh, scope to complete job but we shall uh, observe videos and submit the report and as there are two workshops forging and uh, molding or foundry so job is divided in two halves that is 25 plus 25 25 is meant for forging uh, class 25 is meant for foundry job plus report report means answering some questionnaires so after the uh, observation or uh, at the end of the workshop Uh, respective classes i shall um, give you some questions to be answered okay so answer those questions and submit so that is the job plus report which includes 50 and 20 is meant for attendance plus performance attendance plus performance means i shall uh, keep your uh, record attendance record twice right at about 11 115 that is to start with i shall call your rolls not today today only once so uh, regularly to start with i shall call your rolls at 11 115 and again at the end once again i shall call your rolls sir i have sent you the uh, sheet where it is only name and roll number and ha uh, ha huh? pardon So I have sent you the roll sheet, sir. Where it is okay, only. Okay, okay. I am just checking once. One minute. One minute. I am just checking. Yeah, yeah. A one roll sheet you have sent. I am just checking. A one or A two? A one. Yeah. 
Even no, what where lies the problem? It is not opening. Where, where, where from you are sending this? So I am from sending from. Well, I don't You're know why. Why your computer? It is not opening. I don't know why. Sir, uh, should I send you the PDF? It PDF, PDF. You send me the PDF. It is not PDF. Yeah. I, I, okay, sir. I will send you the PDF also. Ah, it is not the PDF. So, uh, so to start with, I shall call your uh, roles again. To com com conclude with, I shall once again uh, call your roles. So that is about attendance, and that is very easy to score marks uh, out of twenty. If you present for all the days, all the time uh, throughout in, throughout the session, entire session. Then you may easily get twenty, but twenty again in includes not only the attendance, but performance. Means you must listen carefully, you must observe the videos, you must listen all the instructions, because frequently I may ask questions whether you are listening or doing a something else. Just uh, switching on your video, you are busy with some other works. That will again is not uh, good. so you must be attentive and take some ha huh, take some notes uh, what is going on so that is the performance so i shall ask questions so uh, one minute you i am coming within a one minute ओके सो दैट इज परफॉर्मेंस परफॉर्मेंस प्लस अटेंडेंस Uh, which includes 20 so that is out of 50 and 20 that is 70 easily you may score uh, more marks and then rest 30 is meant for a grand bhaiva grand bhaiva means at the end of the semester uh, you will have to appear for a bhaiva which includes 30 marks a major portion okay so out of 70 easily you may score uh, so many and out of 30 again that is not difficult because subjects are not that difficult and parallelly you are uh, going through your uh, theoretical classes also so i think uh, to score 80 plus is not that difficult in this workshop right so this is a modality of our marks division and we have two workshops that is forging as well as molding so that is about the framework of this workshop now ha uh, uh, bolo check, is please can i can you check once i have sent you the pdf also. okay oh, 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 once again i am checking yeah one message i have received in my pdf form na now it it will uh, work
no again it is not pdf what where, where lies the problem i don't know is it a all the my computer i don't know so so wait for some time the pdf form i i have, i have sent you the pdf form sir yeah uh, you I've... have sent but uh, when it is downloaded uh, when i am downloading this what happens this is again that is as in excel it is downloaded sir, in excel form why sir i it, uh, i have sent you the pdf form the pdf form i think it it's not been uh, received by you but i have sent you the pdf pdf form Okay, let uh, let me check later on because I don't know what happens. Yes, what is sir. happening? I uh, because uh, PDF you you have sent PDF, but when it is downloaded, that is in Excel and it's not opening later on. Okay, so today um, we shall start with our uh, your. Uh, just one minute I, because i am uh, again giving you the link of the so you may in your leisure time you may uh, you just again check the inbox so this is the link have you received all of you yes sir so this yeah, is the, the link meeting will our... be over we cannot access these links can you send us on uh, whatsapp which button button Sir, once this meet will be over, we will not be able to access these links. I I can't follow your what so uh, you copy it. What, what copy are you telling? So nothing, sir. I have copied the links. Nothing, sir. Ha, so you what is your problem? Can't you open this link? No, no, sir. I was saying that once the meet will be over, these links will be gone. No, no, no. most likely you copy not. and save it ourselves i yeah, think yeah yeah you yes, copy it and save it in your laptop or where, where else and then try to open it will be opened all the time no problem okay sir you check check okay check and then tell me now here i, I am opening this uh, link and we'll share Now, are you getting this uh, video? Yes, sir. So first, we shall start with the one minute. I am. I am just opening. Uh, is it appearing before your screen, or uh, should I share? Sir, we can see the access the video, sir. <clears throat> What is written? You tell me. Sir, mechanical twenty three, twenty four. So some of our teachers, young teachers. So there, there are some. Uh, uh, okay, it's all right. Uh, so now, what is the instruction? Is uh, this is uh, forging? I uh, sorry, not forging. The foundry related uh, demonstration. so there are two teachers who will discuss this thing uh, except myself i am not here <laughs> pardon me so there are two teachers who will discuss things followed by some instruction uh, that is on job instruction given by our uh, mechanic one of the mechanics in the workshop and this is a uh, foundry uh, molding uh, we shall discuss what is molding what is foundry but uh, prior to that something uh, some uh, theory in brief uh, have been discussed here uh, after some brief uh, discussion what is the intention what we want to do etc then the practical will be Uh, demonstrated job will be demonstrated uh, but again we shall uh, go through some theoretical discussion not today in the next class so today we shall observe this video one hour and 8 uh, minute like that so you observe the video thoroughly 
right? Within this time, within this one hour, I shall not inter interrupt. But you should follow. You may take note also. If you find some problem that, okay, this time, you note the time. Uh, say at about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 27 minutes, 40 minutes, some problems you could not understand. You, you are not in a position to understand or not follow the things. So you take a note. So later on we may discuss. And also we shall discuss the theoretical uh, portions again, once again, in the next class. Okay, so that is uh, regarding the modality. So within this time, I shall not inter interrupt. Okay, but I may stop the videos because sometimes it happens that link uh, is not working. Okay, uh, the connection may be discontinued. Yes, sir. That's why to understand that whether you are connected or we are connected i may stop for some, for a while then again will so all of you are getting this yes sir okay then we sh we are uh, starting this we are going to okay well, from the very beginning you follow critically and then ask me do, not within this time is sound okay? Sir, can you uh, enhance it? Uh, is sound okay? Sir, can you enhance it a bit more, sir? Uh, sound sir, is sir, okay or not? I can't do this further. Sir, should we watch Hello? both videos? Pardon? Should we watch both videos? I mean, there are two videos. I, I can't follow. What, what are you asking? Sir, there are two videos uh, in this uh, huh? particular drive. Should we watch both? Huh? Today? Yes. No, today only one. Today uh, only on uh, forging, foundry related. Okay, okay, okay. Next day, uh, again, foundry will be discussed. Forging is another half, so that will be taken care of later on. There are two jobs I have told, uh, I already have mentioned. So this is the first job. Sir, your screen is not visible, sir. Huh? The voice is not clear also. Sir, voice the voice I can't tell because that had been recorded and I already had expanded to my maximum capacity. But the so screen is, what is also not visible. The, sir. Better the, screen, screen, the screen, screen, screen is not being shared. Huh? The, the screen, screen is not the screen has has not been visible. shared. Screen is not shared, no? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir. What, what, are you, what is your are you not receiving the screen no sir we can't hear uh, see your screen sir okay the, the, i am i am once again i am sharing Yes, sir. Now it is visible, sir. Is coming? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. In the next of this lecture, so the first thing is that what is casting? Basically, this is an oldest manufacturing process, and in this process, basically the material is first. Melted. Then the molten material is poured into a previously prepared mold cavity, and after that, it allows to solidify and cooling. Once it is solidified and cooling, it will be taken out from the mold cavity, and then the surface will be clean and machine. Now, as I have told or explained the procedure. Now we have to understand the thing. 
here in the testing process there are few important things that is first your pattern the tools the mold cavity and the uh, melting temperature of the material now in your daily life you may uh, have been seen or if you think that we if we would like to make a candle okay so the candle is a circular shape okay so suppose we want to make a candle so the candle is similar to this shape so what will be done we will take a circular hollow section and in between that the molten ox will be poured so when the molten ox will be solidified it will be taken out so this is how your casting process is done now as i have told that the few important things uh, is there among which there is important on important thing that is your pattern so what is pattern the pattern is the replica of the desired shape that means if we uh, uh, try to make a product okay so there will be a design and that design will provide a particular shape and size and is in corresponding to that we will have to make a pattern which will be similar almost similar to that our desired product so suppose you can see i am holding a pattern in my hand so when the final product will be produced that will be similar to this but before going to that i will have to tell few things that what are the advantages of this casting process in this casting process we can make some complex shapes can be made second thing is that in this process we can use both ductile and brittle material third thing is that it is a less expensive process in though there are some advantages there are some limitation is also there the limitation is uh, that here in this process the product that will the surface of the product that will not be so smooth there will be some rough surface and that surface is needed to be clean and pristine another thing is there as there is in for the solidification and cooling process is involved so if the entire entire surface entire section of the mold cavity is not uniformly solidified or cooled there we may not achieve the that we may not achieve uh, similar mechanical properties so sometimes it may be needed that it, we we may have to heat treat the casting product now we are going to each thing one by one first thing i have told you that pattern it is the miss main one of the uh, uh, among the uh, among the different uh, important things this is an important uh, important this is the point that pattern is okay so among the different thing one of the important thing in casting is pattern and this is the replica of the desired shape so before making pattern we have to keep few things on our mind that while making pattern we will have to provide some allowance why this allowance is required i will explain it now there are different type of allowance which is provided to the uh, pattern number one is your shrink the different allowances are provided the allowances are uh, shrinkage allowance masking allowance draft allowance distortion allowance and ramming allowance now the among all these allowances first thing is that your shrinkage allowance as you know that when any liquid material and any liquidified material will be solidified there will be some shrinkage that means there will be the contraction in the entire volume so to compensate that shrinkage allowance is provided second thing i have told you that your masking allowance because there is an interaction between the product that is your job and the molding material so the surface 
will not be properly smooth. So, to provide the desired shape, to clean and to machine the surface, we will have to provide the machining allowance. Next is your draft allowance. After the solidification of the job, we will have to take out it from the mold cavity. So, when it, it will be taken out, so we need to withdraw so that we can withdraw it from the mold cavity easily. There will be the provided. So, the of the uh, pattern, if it is plain surface, we will give some taper so that it can be withdrawn from the mold cavity easily. And there is also your distortion allowance and ramming allowance. Now, there are defined types of pattern that is your single pattern, bit pattern, gated pattern, okay, partition pattern. So, different types of pattern is there. So, once the pattern is made, next it will be provided in the mold cavity. So, there are refined mold material, here we will use sand mold. Now, when the material, the uh, mold cavity will be prepared, so the, there will be some certain properties which will help to improve the quality of the casting, casting product. So, there are few properties which are mandatorily required in the molding sand. Now, among which I am explaining one by one. You can see there is refractoriness. That is the molding sand that will withstand the high temperature of the molten metal. That is the properties of the molding sand and always your refractoriness. Next important thing is the permeability. Permeability means the ability, the ability to escape the gases from the mold, which will be the end, the ability of the gas, uh, ability to escape the gases from the molten material. Because when the material will be melted, some gases will be entrapped uh, in, in between the your molten material. So when it will be solidified, it is required to escape the gases from the molten metal. Otherwise, some defect will be found in the casting product and there will be some entrapment of the gases. There are other also there, there is your collapsibility. That means the, the uh, mold will retain its shape when the casting operation will be performed. There is flowability is also required. So these are and these are the few properties which is required in the your uh, molding sand. Now to explain to explain the uh, casting uh, process here you can see that here this is a diagram. Now basically here this can be said your mold cavity. So the final product will be similar to this, this, this. Now here the, when the, the mold cavity will be prepared, there is two parts. The upper part is called coke and then lower part is called drag. And here, this is your parting line. Now, through this pouring machine, the molten material will be poured. And next it will come through this loop and this is the runner. And through this, the molten material will, will enter in this mold cavity. After that, the, here you can see this is the riser. So, what is this? What is the function of this riser? I have already told you that the alloys which are provided to the pattern, there are there are different allowances. There are one allowance that is called your sinkage allowance. So when this material will be solidified, so there will be the contraction in the volume. So to compensate that, the material, molten material will result here and this sinkage allowance that will be compensated from the riser. And when this solidification will process and solidification cooling process will be there, then at the last the material 
in the riser that will be solidified last. So this is how your dusting process is done. Now I am Professor Gautam Nandi. I will discuss about some deep bit of molding process as well as the casting process. I think Professor Suman Nihar has already described the major parts of casting. So when the term casting is uttered, certainly it is related with some pattern. What is a pattern? Basically, it is a replica of the material which should be cast. The pattern we can tell it with the help of the pattern we make the mold pattern. Then, what is a pattern? How to make a pattern? And why different allowances have been given or provided into the pattern? That has also why described by Professor Niha. So I want to show you initially some different types of pattern. So this is one pattern. This is known as reversing gear handle of a pattern. This is reversing gear handle of a lathe. Pattern is made by wood. So pattern material here it is wood. Second one is that is Palmer block cap. Palmer block. The spelling is P L U. Mind it. Palmer block cap. This is basically a complete gear. This is also one part of the gear. That means other part is also associated. That means it is not a single piece pattern. These three patterns which I have shown you, certainly it's a single piece pattern. This is another pattern. By seeing it, you will be able to understand what is the purpose of this pattern. It is nothing but the wall bracket. Wall bracket. Now I am going to show it. Typical thing, all these patterns are single piece pattern. You please see this pattern. Basically, it is the pattern of rope pulling. So, we can divide it like this way. So, it is two piece pattern. And this part or this part, it should be located on the same position. And for solving the locating problem, there is some towel pins which will enter into this part so that there should be no displacement among these two patterns. So this is known as two-piece pattern. We have got another pattern that is three-piece pattern or multi-piece pattern. So according to requirement for the removal of the pattern from the mold, it may be single-piece pattern, two-piece pattern or multi-piece pattern. What are the basic name of the different types of pattern? One is known as single piece pattern second one is two piece multi piece pattern after that gated pattern after that sweep pattern so there are different types of pattern we use it for our different purposes now the rest of the part about the different types of mold different types of characteristics of the mold strength of the mold hardness of the mold or the different, another different quality of mold has been discussed by Professor Nihar. So, what is our target? Basically, after casting, we want sound. In engineering, sound bone means more or less that should be defect. So, what are the basic equipments required to prepare a mold cavity? First one. That is better. Through which we prepare the mold. Second one is, these four things are known as the locating page, so that the drag part and the poke part, which has been written over here, one is drag part and poke part, for making the, for making the mold, this poke part is removed, after that it should be replaced on the same place, or to help it, this locating peg is required. This is known as rammer, through which we increase the compactness of the plates. This is known as one is runner, another one is right. Runner means through which the molten metal should enter into the mold cavity. Through which sometimes it is known as screw, through which molten metal will enter into the mold cavity. 
And another one is Raidar. The function of the Raidar, it will ensure, it will ensure that mold cavity has been totally filled up. After that, the excess metal will come over here. And during shrinkage, this molten metal will fill the shrinkage. So this is, riser is, basically it is open in ambient condition. So there is another riser, which is known as blind riser, which is not exposed in ambient condition. What is the function of the blind riser? Due to any reason, if the molten metal present in this riser freezes, the blind riser which is present over here, which is not exposed in air, that will feed the metal during the shrinkage. For that only, as it is not exposed in ambient condition, it is under, in between drag and go, it is known as blind riser. And this is known as draw spike, through which we remove the pattern. We remove the pattern from the mold. This is known as basically cleaner. This is cleaner. This is also cleaner to clean the mold. And this is known as physical cleaner. For degassing system, so that the gas entrapped into the mold cavity, there are some processes through which we make some weight into the mold wall, which will be seen in the practical training. This is known as paint holes. And another thing, in this pattern, I think these four pieces, it is fitted with this pattern. It is fitted with this pattern. This projected part, which has been fitted in the pattern, what's the function of this thing? And what is the name of this thing? Basically, this is known as core print. Core print. What then term comes? What's the function of this core? This is the core. Basically, this is the core. And it is dry sand. Now you please think one thing, <coughs> you want to make a hollow portion in this solidified material. But keeping it in mind, you are pouring the liquid molten metal. And now I am telling you have to create a hole within the material. How is it possible? So it should be our target by applying something, whatever it may be, that is known as core. That will not going to allow molten metal into that part. If we do not allow to enter into the liquid metal into that part, certainly after the solidification of the melt, that will create a hollow surface. So, definition of core print, it is the added projection. It is the added projection. This is not a part of the pattern. Rather, this is the added projection in the pattern. Function of the core print is that to locate the position of the core as well as to hold the core. To locate the position of the core and to hold the core. So this is all this for our core print. And this is the core. After molding, removing the core from the drag part, this core will be inserted like this way. So that the molten metal will not enter into the zone. After solidification, when we will break the mold, that part should remain intact, giving a hollow space within the casket. Now, other major parts, I think it has been discussed by Professor Shuman Nihar. Another part I have told you about the different types of casket. First, Shuman Babu has described basic casket process, that is sand casting. Can you tell me? What are the other kinds of casting processes? Except being sand mold, after that it comes dry sand. After that it comes, after that it comes shale molding process. After that, it is a dry casting. But the difference between dry, basic difference between dry casting and green sand mold casting is that with the help of the dye, Dye is made not by the sand, rather dye is made by the metallic material, so that we can produce so many number of castings, stay one by one with the help of the dye. No need to prepare mold every time. 
But the drawback of die casting is that it is applicable only for lower melting temperature of metals and alloys. After another thing that is known as investment casting, that is known as investment casting. After investment casting, that is gravity feeding die casting. After that, slash casting. After that, CO2 mold casting. And the hollow pipes are made by centrifugal casting. In the theoretical classes, it should be, I think, discussed thoroughly. With this, it is very little time is allowed to us. It is not possible to describe all these things practically. Now, the problem is that after the solidification of the mail, we get a cast part of solidified material. What are the conditions are required? First, the green if we take green sand mold. In most of the cases, we prefer green sand mold because the first point is that it is easy to mold as well as it is cheaper in the market. What material contents are there? Silica sand, bentonite, clay, water, and some organic additives. With help of this thing, we produce the green sand. After that, with the help of the pattern, red part and both part, we make the hollow cavity in which, with the help of the runner arriser, we pour the liquid molded metal into the cavity. So, first thing is required make the mold. After that, liquefy the material. After that, pour the liquefied material into the hollow cavity or mold. After that, allow for some time to reach the liquid molten metal into the room temperature. Break the mold, bring out the solidified material or the cast part, go for trimming. After that, we need for some machine. So this is the more or less initial process. In accepting this thing, something should also be considered. What is the material used for making mold? what material we are pouring, what time is required, what should be the melting temperature of the material which we are pouring, and types of solidification, that plays an important role. And after completion of this process, which is our target, we want to produce some sound casting. What is sound casting? Basically, it is expected there should be no defect in the casting. Certainly, building different process, building different mold material, different mold, molten material poured into the mold cavity, some defects may arise in the casting. So what are the common defects? One is known as low holes. Another one is known as peel holes. Another one is known as honeycomb peel. Another defect is known as blister. Another known as scab. Another one is mold shape. Another one is known as core sheet. Another one is misra. Another one is known as hot tear, cold tear. Like there are so many defects may arise during the casting. But it should be our target by combining combining so many methods, so many techniques, we want to get a sound casting. That is more or less defect, less casting. But how we should check? That is after the cleaning, after the machining, we want to check it whether it is sound casting or not. There are different testings. If the casting size is large, it is not possible to break it and check it. So there is another different techniques are known as NDT test, the full form of NDT is non-destructive testing. But whatever may be the process, it may be machining, it may be casting, it may be forging, forging human eyes plays an important role. That is the best master find out the defects, either machining, coating, casting, heating, whatever it will be. So go for visual inspection at first. Go for visual inspection at first. After visual inspection, we, if any defect, we cannot find it out, then go for NDT or non-destructive testing. The first non-destructive testing is that pressure test with the application of pressure it is basically used for checking the pressure vessel after that magnetic particle inspection after that magnetic particle inspection 
after this another authentic test is die penetrant inspection die penetrant inspection if any crack which we cannot see through our naked eyes with the help of the fluorescent dye we can check it whether there is any crack just below the surface or not another crude technique is also there that is sound with the application of sound you please if it is possible you please hold the casting or hang the casting strike it with a mallet strike it with a mallet mallet means hammer made by wood why hearing the ringing sound by hearing ringing sound we can tell it whether any internal crack or any sub sub hello yes sir hello yes sir yes sir uh, is all right uh, the uh, things are going on smoothly yes sir yes sir yes sir Yes, you to take note where you are not able to understand or uh, is difficult to follow we shall discuss next okay so again i am uh, continuing but we cannot locate it locating a particular location whether any no holes or some surface crack is there there is another authentic technique that is known as x technique or ट्रासोनिक method we can sir that sound decreases abruptly sir in any casting whether hmm. it is sound or not so there are plus techniques which have uttered one by one first visual inspection pressure test magnetic particle inspection dye penetration inspection radiographic examination ultrasonic inspection it depends upon the depending upon the size of the material what type of crack one most authentic test is radiographic test and ultrasonic inspection through which you can detect detect about the any kind of defect in the casting after this in case of making a pattern how there is another you please notice one thing that no sharp corner is present into the casting there are some filleting is done if you produce sharp corner in the pattern so pattern making is also a technique the man who is got expertise in pattern making he knows it no sharp corner should be provided because sharp corner it is a as a stress reason so there are so many techniques that they are when we we'll do it by our own hand as well as with the help of different tools in our workshop when we we'll meet we should discuss different types of problems we will solve here here problem and after preparation of the mold with the help of the pattern keeping it mind that this should be our target it should be this free casting so there are different techniques depending upon the condition depending upon the material depending upon the material of the mold and the metal which you are putting into this so there are different techniques through which you can do it now the sound casting thank you this is our turn how we should make the mold with the help of single piece pattern today we will use single piece pattern one is known as reversing gear handle of a lathe at first we should make this with the help of this pattern we should make the mold after that no other pattern is used for reversing gear handle because with this help of this pattern we can change the rotation of the lathe in case of 
We can change the rotation of a lathe. After that, we should see the how to make the core with the help of the bell sand. We should not take the help of this dry sand core. So core can be divided by the two parts. This is known as dry sand core. And if we go for the making this pattern, we will use green sand core, which is economic. So these two patterns, the help of these two patterns, we should make some mold just after two to three minutes. You please notice how molds are made. It may be single piece. Suppose if we want to make it this pattern, it is two piece. If it is possible, we can go for the three piece or multi piece pattern. Thank you. Now our beloved member in this molding shop, Mr. David, will demonstrate with the help of different tools, pattern, with drag box and cope how to make a mold with the help of the green sand. As it is green sand, it is known as the green sand. Now this is single piece pattern, name of this pattern. This is going to the geometry of the lens. The pattern material is so mature. And these two parts which are already sold, that is both please and in position is the pattern. Now we should notice our beloved paper is the David, how to keep this pattern, whether in this way or in this Now from this point, you please keep your eyes properly about the proper function of this pattern, how he develops the mold with the help of this pattern. Basically, it is single piece pattern. David, take this. Okay. First of all, this is a cope. Uh, this is a cope. With, with the help of this cope, we are going to make this entire thing. So, the place which is ready, we should make it ready as far as this size or a bit greater than this which will help you all to finish the job in a well manner yeah. so this is the place where we are going to start this operation as this pattern place it in the green sand these are basically known as pegs catch a peg place it in the pattern and try to hit it simultaneously till the entire pattern penetrates in the green sand Once this pattern is penetrated in the green sand, you will need this basically known as rammer, as it has been already explained to you all. With the help of this rammer, we should ram the entire portion, which will be towards the pattern. This is the pattern, so we need to catch it in a horizontal way and we need to ram it towards the pattern. While rubbing towards the pattern makes each and every sand particle enter the core and the hollow places of the pattern.
have already uh, done a ramming towards the pattern. Now this is the wall. The wall. We, are, we will now ram towards the wall of this poker. Take your rama. Start ramming towards the wall. If you complete a circle and circle and then we are going to the center of this drop. But we are finishing the outer area. After that, as it comes into the center, we are coming back to the you are placing this uh, rama in a 90 degree pattern. Again, once it is completed, you can see that there is a gap again. Again, we need to connect the lift shank. Once it is filled again, again start wrapping. Thank <laughs> you. 
Pattern over here, which has been totally come up 
And as sir, uh, sir has already explained you out that there is a machining allowance regarding this quantity uh, process. So you can see that there are some birds and some ups and downs over here. So this will go to the machining and it will become a total year after completing the entire machining process. You have already seen the function job, which was the reversing gear handle. Now this is the plumber block cap. In this we are going to make a slightly different pattern over here, which we are going to make a green sand core over here. So the entire process is same as the first job, but only in this we are going to make a green sand core so that you all can look. First of all, this is the place where we are going to uh, start the Once this uh, drag is hard, take the pattern, place it over here, and this is the help of you. And with the help of any uh, wood piece and this rammer, we are going to hit it slightly so that it is penetrated in the drag. Once it has been penetrated from all the sides, once it has been penetrated from all the sides, with the help of your cleaner, we are just scratching this part and making this part a bit rough so that we can make a green sand core over here. After scratching this thing, we are taking again the green sand and we need to fill this entire gap. As you can see that this app has been already filled. Take some extra sand and place it over here so that you can make a core over here. hard enough so that you can do your rest of the operation on this. Once both the side has been completed, again with the help of the cleaner, need to cut the extra sand. Thank you. 
as if your first job, your, you need to cover the entire thing over here, the entire sand over here. the first job, we need to lift this, turn it around, place it in a plane, plane check, and you will be getting the motor.
You can see here. Fold. Take over here and your pattern has been shifted to the fold. Now we need to remove the pattern from there. The process will be same. Take some water. Put it in the outer line. Drama. Cut this pattern, make it loose. Remove your pattern and you will get the whole table here on the second row, you will get the plumber block here. So, हेलो सर आपने किचु बोल चाहे ना तूने सर एक बात सुन देगा चीज ना ना हमने तो हाल ना मार रखा है नेटवर्क के टेक अच्छी नहीं हेलो सर सर हेलो सर हेलो सर हेलो सर आपने को बात सुनाया अच्छे ना लेफ्ट लीव कर गए सर हाँ लेफ बिरी ही गया लोगे लास्ट टाइम तक कुछ बुझी थी यार यार तो केटे केटे यार चिल्ली तो बहुत अच्छे लगे हेलो है सर है एक बार सुनते बात ची है सर एक बार सुनते हैं नेटवर्क से चोले अच्छे का नहीं जाएगा अच्छा साउंड कौन कौन लोग हो चुके हो एक तो साउंड डर की देख लाम सर डेट थिंग रिजोल्ट सर डेट थिंग हैपेंड साउंड डर Yes, sir. Sir, uh, that thing uh, happened for I think around only one minute more than. Uh, uh, but uh, the video was uh, going on uh, nicely, but yes, uh, maybe problem on sound. Some of you uh, actually, uh, I don't know uh, why. But uh, anyways, you have the link. So again, um, view and view and view. Uh, number of times you should observe because there are so many uh, pros and cons. And not only this, you should uh, read books also. Okay, what is riser? What is the, now? With this practical aspect and some partial theoretical uh, discussion at the very beginning, we have uh, learned something. Or uh, what is the forging actually? Foundry operation is. So next class we shall again discuss some theoretical concepts. Okay, but you um, number of times you uh, try to view this uh, video, observe the video, and uh, because during the theoretical discussions it will be easier, it will be helpful. To understand various things, and you may ask questions also on that. But after observing uh, today's demonstration, do you have some uh, particular question on that? Hello. When the Palmer uh, block molding, why he did not uh, put any risers, sir? Why? Why? Uh, 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 the sir who is uh, who was uh, showing the video, uh, he did not put any riser uh, while making the Palmer block molding, sir. No, actually, uh, uh, riser is needed, but 
that was not inserted a riser will be placed in the top portion there there was a recess small recess on the top so in that portion the riser should be placed but maybe due to this time constraint or due to hurriedness that was missed actually but riser is needed runner was placed in the left in the extreme corner but again riser will have to be placed okay sir any other sir any other any question video? sir is there any video where uh, it is been shown uh, how well, to you, 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 can you can you write in the chat box because uh, sound quality is very poor say so you write in in chat box okay sir sir i have written in the chat box sir hmm okay i i am writing i am answering i am giving your reply through the because uh, it will be better okay so it was not possible we have a, um, a melting furnace aluminum melting furnace electrical furnace recently it had been installed in our workshop in our forging foundry shop but uh, due to several constraints uh, because uh, it takes time then manpower requirement and you know the during covid situation all these had been recorded so we had some constraints in uh, recording all these that's why it was not possible to record that particular portion but molten metal pouring of molten metal and solidification getting real casting all these are now um, is possible in our workshop also but uh, if you want to have some feel obviously there are good videos uh, in internet in future uh, when uh, uh, okay don't worry uh, you have never seen 
the real casting it's not a problem but when the university will be uh, opened in full fledged uh, we sh we shall try to demonstrate with a practical demonstration maybe in the next year also may not be um, during your i mean uh, during your this uh, workshop but maybe later on you will have a uh, idea you will have an idea is all right yes sir yes, any sir. any other question any other question if you don't have any question then we may wrap up today uh, so we shall then discuss some theoretical aspects again observe videos uh, we shall discuss so many other things but within the mean in the meantime you must go through books okay not only observing the videos but reading books uh, are also important because there are so many hand tools those had been discussed to start with so what are the hand tools basic hand tools and what are what is molding material molding sand how it is prepared what are the qualities uh, what are the different properties so that all these will be discussed but uh, you should go through books because all these are also included in your theoretical uh, portion that's why it is important to read any particular question or we shall stop today sir can you provide us the uh, soft copy of uh, chapman books sir soft copy of what uh, chap workshop technology chapman by written by soft chapman. copy i don't have with me you oh. search in net so many things are available you may visit your library also libraries are opening uh, in alternate days so in library so many books are there not only chapman other books are also available sir can you check once uh, the P i have sent you the pdf a long time ago can which one once? which one yes. hello hello sir sir ha uh, bolo can you check the uh, if the pdf has been received by you or not i have which sent one? you those. pdf sir pdf roll sheet P pdf of what roll sheet sir roll sheet ha huh? Roll, roll sheet, sir. PDF on roll sheet. PDF on. Oh, oh, you you had sent. Okay, okay. I, I just okay, one minute. One or uh, one or one point uh, one and a half hours ago. Okay, I, I am checking because uh, actually this PDF uh, you you had sent, but when it is downloaded in my computer, it is in Excel mode and I it's not opening. I don't know why where lies the problem. is not open sir, again again sir again again it's it's a, there is a problem i don't know where lies the problem sir Five can times. you share your screen sir uh, huh? so sir can you share your uh, screen and uh, show us uh, uh, okay, what is okay. uh, if we can help is it visible no not no, not shared no no sir not shared no okay Okay thank you all Thank you sir Thank you